I'm Tyrone Smallwood. I would like to share my story with you. Today, I am a confident man, and I know where I'm headed in life. But it wasn't always that way. Once I actually wished that I was someone else. I was all screwed up in my head, and it led to a whole lot of problems. I hope that I can inspire you to get your perspective and thus your life together. This is my story. I hope this starts the first day of the rest of my life. Maybe I need medication. If this doesn't help, I'll just become homeless, live in a cardboard box, and wash my clothes in the river. You must be Tyrone. Yes, nice to meet you, Dr. Sit down. You sure you can afford $125 an hour? Yes. Speak up. Yes. Ah, let me hear you, another timid ass man. Excuse me? Well, obviously, I know why you're here. You're having a difficult time getting through life. And you're going to have to man up. Am I right? You will learn quickly that I do not appreciate BS. I will not coddle you. There's no breast milk in these. Like, oh. Rick James said on The Chappelle Show, the milk has gone bad. Yes, ma'am. Stand up and tell me what your biggest insecurities are. Ma'am? Yes, Mickey Thicky, time's a ticking. Well, I'm from the suburbs. I don't really fit in well with black people. Not really white people either. I can't dance. Boo! Get that man off the stage! Black men are supposed to be well, well endowed. And I'm not. Did, did, did you just say to me that you have a smally poly? Not in those words. I don't get it. I, I thought you brothers are supposed to be strong black bucks. You know, the mendingos. Usually, but I don't know what happened. I didn't get mine. Pee wee! <laughs> Look, you are in the right place. I will help you get through these things. What I do for my patients is I run kind of boot camp. Few of them get through it. Few of them are mentally tough enough. Here's my advice to you. You leave your ego at the door. You Throw caution to the wind and you fight, fight, fight. So tell me, who are the people in your life right now? My parents, mm -hmm. my two roommates, my platonic friend Nikki. Nicholas or Nikki? Nikki is in Nicole. Oh. And the people at the office. So let me guess. Your roommates boss you around. Your parents never pushed you to achieve anything. You don't stand up for yourself at the office or share ideas. And you're secretly in love with your platonic friend. Right? Damn, I'm good. But this is a classic case. I have a few mantras I'd like you to repeat. Lean in. Repeat after me. I will learn to do the two-step on the dance floor. I will learn to do the two-step on the dance floor. I will not be scared of people. I will 
not be scared of people. I will learn to lick the hell out of a vagina because I had a small E. coli. Huh? <laughs> I had to say that just for kicks. Your time is up. You're really going to have to leave. Pee Wizzle! I'll see you next week.